Okay, now it's time to start uh, setting up our interface. So the first thing we need is a title. So I'm going to insert a new layer. Call it title. Let's grab my text tool. And let's come out here on the stage and type in our target practice. Let's go ahead and highlight that. Go into the properties. And let's increase this size a little bit. Okay, and let's go ahead and stretch this out so it fits onto one line. I'm going to modify and break this apart two times. I want that to be white text, not black. And actually I see you need to come back in and spell this correctly. There we go. Now let's break that apart. Change that to white. I'm going to convert that to a movie clip. And let's call this title underscore MC. Double click to go inside. I'm going to insert a new layer. Let's drag that one down open up my library find one of my targets and bring it out and let's break that apart one time delete that white circle delete the gray box the outline let's go ahead and group that together move it to one end copy it over to the other end let's go ahead and lock that and it looks like I need to add a stroke going around my text. So I'll grab these outer edges here first. That way we can see this just a little bit better. And don't forget the inner parts like the A, the R, the P, that way we can also see those. Okay, now with that, let's give this an instance name. And just call that title underscore MC because we will need to refer to that later on. Okay, next I'm going to come out and create a new one. Let's call this instructions. As every game. Uh, need some instructions so we know how to play the game. And I'm going to bring my size down to about 26. And let's start typing some text in here. So, with our text, what do we need inside there? We need to know how to go through and actually play the game. Okay, so what is the instructions for this. I'm basically just going to say this is a timed game and you will have two minutes to shoot the targets and see how many points you can get within the allotted time. Each target is worth 10 points and there is also a UFO that is worth 50 points. Use the mouse to move the crosshair and then left click the mouse button to shoot. Good luck.
Okay, now with this in our properties, let's give this an instance name. I'm going to call this instructions underscore txt. Uh, make sure I have white. Uncheck my selectable because I don't want to be able to select this. I'm going to embed my font. So I need to embed uppercase, lowercase, numerals, and punctuation. I'm going to uh, center that. And on my behaviors, I'm going to change it from single line to multi line because we have multi line text. Okay. Next, we need to go through and start maybe creating some buttons out here. So I'm going to just come down and let's insert a new layer and call these buttons. My first button is basically going to be my start button. Let's go ahead and increase that font size a little bit. Now when I deal with buttons, I like to break my buttons apart, especially if it's just text. Let's convert that to a button, and I'm going to call this start underscore btn. Change it from a movie clip to a button. Let's double click on that button to go inside. I'm going to go to my hit state, F6. Grab a rectangle and place it over that box, or where that box would be. Okay. And I need another button out here. And on this one, I'm going to call it Instructions. And let's see if I can spell correctly today. And let's increase that just by one so that S comes up. Again, modify, break this apart two times. F8. I call this instructions underscore btn. Let's go ahead and move that into place over here. Double click to go inside. Hit state F6. Grab a rectangle box and bring a hit state over that box. Now notice when we're going through our hit states do not show. So they won't be in the way or anything like that. Okay. In the next video, we'll finish up our interface and go through and insert our time field and our score field. And uh, also, we we'll need one more text field out here that we'll use in for our game over, showing the score, and maybe even a restart button. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.